We're here at the Arc Summit. I'm with Sounder from MultiCoreWare, one of our partners. We've done multiple projects with MultiCoreWare and they're here to demonstrate some of their CNN capabilities. So Sandra, why don't you tell us what you have for the demo? Yeah, so currently we will be looking at two different demos. One yeah. is an object tracking with an object detection yeah. coupled with it, and the other is a pose estimation and a pose recognition. Okay. So all these things use us CNNs and OpenCV, um, where we use YOLO v2 and OpenCV, and as uh, Synopsis EV is like optimized for the OpenCVs, so we can uh, get it much easily ported into it and working much well on the Synopsis uh, platform. Okay. Great. So this is a multiple object tracking. Uh, so basically we detect people um, mm -hmm. in a whole platform and then we keep tracking them. Uh, so we can go for a specific example. So it could be a queue management as an example of it and it could be used in retail markets, in supermarkets where uh, you can mark the region of interest mm -hmm. and when people come into it, you keep track of them yeah. and then you just start counting like how many seconds they are waiting and when it goes beyond like certain limits you flag it so that the person can serve like the more people and they can just open a new counter and serve and then improve their customer satisfaction. So in this case I'm assuming the CNN is doing the people detection or the object detection yeah. and then you're using some other processing capabilities to you know display the, the numbers and keep track of the time? Like that's not the CNN. Uh, that's, so, uh, that could be optimized, uh, modified based on the requirements of the customer. So this is like basically the, the core of the CNN is like uh, it is a combination of CNN and OpenCV uh, for tracking, okay, like good. directing and tracking yeah. it. And this could be like configured for whatever the person wants it according to the specific application. Great. Great. I wouldn't want to be this person. <laughs> uh, All right. What's the other sure. demo? Sure. So uh, this one has like another thing like where. You can track a particular object of interest. So here, you're not interested in the background. So we can just track just the object of interest. And when you compress it, compress the video, you can give more bits to this person so that you, you can get a better compression ratio. Oh, and then gotcha. um, you can retain a better quality. Okay, so, so now here the benefit is using CNN, you can detect the foreground yeah. and use your compression to highlight those pixels and the background suffers, but who cares? You're not, you're yeah, not because background this. is not yeah. going to affect the person. So this is a similar example as an ATM queue where you serve for the so serving more people. Okay. And so this is an, so one of the unique feature of the, our yeah. object uh, detection and tracking is like each person is assigned a unique ID. So when I say unique ID, the person uh, yeah. has a unique ID like throughout the session of the video. Yeah. So this particular example you can see in this game, like each person has like ID one, two, three, four. Yeah. And uh, you could see the uh, person with ID 4 was in the frame, and he goes out of frame, and when he comes back, he has the same ID 4. And in the same with person ID 1, he goes out of the frame, comes, he has the same ID 1. So uh, the, uh, it is tracked that this is a person, and he knows like the specific characteristics for the person throughout yeah. the video. So it could be used in surveillance yeah. for tracking a specific person throughout the session of a video. Okay, great. And what's unique about your solution versus somebody else just taking a CNN off a you know, website somewhere? Um, so we are like micro architecture aware. So we understand the core uh, architectures of anything and then we, we uh, do a CNNs optimized for all those stuff. Okay. For more information, visit the Synopsys website or visit MultiCoreWare online. Thank you very much.